Hi everyone. Today we're gonna go for a walk in Niagara Falls. We're at the floral clock right now. And it's a beautiful sunny afternoon on Saturday. And we're gonna take a walk along the uh, the walkway on the parkway here close to the Sir Adam Beck generating station and walk our walk to the scenic outlook there so I hope you enjoy it's a busy day here today And let's go. Got a beautiful blue sky today. Nice clouds in the sky. It's not too terribly hot. Nice day for a walk. Hopefully, we'll get a nice view of the river up here. There's a really nice little view here of the of the Queenston Lewiston Bridge. That's the border between Canada and United States. So I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Uh, I am, for one. It's a good weekend so far. I went for my nice drive today, which I really enjoy to do on Saturdays. So there's one little lookout here. It's quite the view of the towers here. Oh, it says warning workers below. Ugh. Just looking down there <laughs> from this height. Oh my goodness. It's quite the sight, this place. I can tell you that. You can see how strong the current is down there. And across is the United States of America. That's the Niagara River down below. There's another nice view here of the Queenston-Lewiston Bridge. Looks pretty quiet on the bridge. No cars going or coming. Of course, we're still not allowed to cross over to the United States. Um, but they are allowed to come over here. So hopefully soon the borders will open for Canadians to cross to the U.S. You can see the nice flags there in the center at the right at the international border. Trees 
leaves are just starting to get a little bit of color in them. Slightly. Leaves are starting to change. And you can see down here is part of the generating station. All along here. I have a little story I can tell you guys um, about my family, my grandfather in particular. So, oh, here's a really cool shot of this. Straight down the middle. Oh, some people biking on the two person bike. So, my grandfather immigrated from Poland so I am part Polish and he immigrated in 1950 and he came here on a contract to work on uh, he worked out up north in Canada for a little while and he did some tree cutting up north, out in Saskatchewan, and it was really harsh there, the weather for him. So he almost thought about going back to Poland, but then he ended up getting a job in Toronto. And then later he came down to Niagara. So when he came down to Niagara, he did some work on farms, he worked at a farm called Shank Farm, which they offered to put up his family after one year of working here. And so he brought my grandmother and my dad and my dad's brothers. So after being here a little while, he heard that Ontario Hydro was gonna be hiring and they were going to be building this generating station, which is right here where we are. So he went and applied for the job. Now, when he decided he was going to go and apply for the work, my dad, who was 16 at the time, very young man, uh, thought, hey, he could get a job too and get some experience, make some nice money. So he applied with my grandfather and when they came for the interview, there was many, many people waiting, hoping to get a job. And, oh, there goes the jet boat. How cool, I didn't know it even came down here. Nice close-up of that. Ah, oh, I lost track of it. <laughs> there it is. So, my grandfather had the interview and he got the job right away. He was very happy. At the time, they were living in a small little shack type of house, if you could even call it that, that um, the place where he was working at at the time put the, him and his family up. So my dad also had an interview and they asked him how old he was. And he said he was 16. And they said, well, we might need some help in the kitchen soon. So that told him right there that they were not going to give him the job to help build the hydro plant. So what my grandfather helped build, as you can see across on the American side, that's the Robert Moses power plant. And there's like the big wall there, cement wall. And my grandfather was one of the many workers that helped build the Canadian side one. They built the farms out of wood and to help 
build up that cement wall. So my dad didn't get the job, um, but he tried and then soon after that he ended up getting hired um, by a place called, um, what was it called? I can't even remember the name now. Oh, McKinnon Industries, that's what it was called. But now it's known as GM, General Motors. So he ended up getting hired there at 17 and worked there till he retired. But um, my grandfather helped build all this. So um, another story is, is over time, he saved enough money to buy a piece of land. That's a nice building. Really nice. So they bought the lot out in the country. And at the time, it was in the early 1950s, they bought the lot for $600. So they were so happy. They bought a piece of land to make a home at. And over time, they saved money. And they would go and visit the property often. And they eventually built their own home on it all by themselves. Because my grandfather was a carpenter also. He had that trade. He had that skill trade. And he they built their own home there. So that was really interesting to learn all that so oh here you can see here the wall some of the wall here it's water coming out certain parts so after they were completed the building of this generating station um, there was lots of wood left over and hold on a second, let me just see what this says here. So there's a plaque here, it says Sir Adam Beck, the first Beck one unit was commissioned on Christmas day, 1921. The vertical turbine generator combination is similar to the design used since in almost all hydraulic stations water provided by an open canal 20 kilometers long from Chippewa above Niagara Falls is used to generate alternating current power with exceptionally high efficiency. Beck 1 was the largest hydraulic generating station in the world when completed by Ontario Hydro in 1930. The plant continues to operate today and can generate enough power to small, supply a small modern city. How interesting. So, so as I was saying, so there was a lot of wood left over from the forms that they used to create these giant cement walls here. And back in the day, my dad told me that people could come down here and get a load of wood, like a car load of wood, for something like $2. So can you imagine that? You get, you fill your car full of wood or whatever vehicle you have at the time and you can take all that wood with you. Well, <laughs> what they did is they took advantage of that, the opportunity to get that wood for a very reasonable price. And what they did is they used that wood to build their home. So that first home they built out in the country, a lot of that wood came from here. So um, my dad eventually, after working at GM for a little while, saved enough money saved enough money 
to purchase his own lot on the same street and they ended up using some wood from here as well to build his home. So it's kind of an interesting story to share with you and there's other homes around the Niagara area that have used a lot of wood from here to build their homes. So just a little piece of history there. So that's my little story, a little bit about my family. So this must be all part of the generating station here as well. And if you enjoy walking, this is a nice little pathway to walk on or bike on. On the weekends, as you can see, there's lots of traffic. Lots of cars coming and going. So as we get up here, there's going to be the main lookout area where you can see the nice view of the river and the interesting view of the generating stations. So if you want somewhere different to see, it's a little bit away from the falls itself, but it's something different to see. And it's got a nice view, outlook. You can see the cool generating stations and how the water circulates under that. So you can see here, oh, there's another jet boat coming in. Get a close up of this. See here, there's some parking spots. You can park right close to here and come and take a look at the, the outlook. That's going to do it for today's walk. I hope you enjoyed it. Something different. Let's see if we can get a look at the wall over here. Oh, now you can see it.
here, Canadian side. That's gonna do it for today's walk. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.